Hi everybody. In this video, we are going to see how we can get the environment associated with a particular folder, especially with the classic folder. And I am going to show how we can do the API calls uh, using Postman. So for that, uh, in the previous video, we have seen how we can get the folders. So from that information, let me go to Postman now. Hmm. So here is my Postman. So we have seen how to get the folders, right? So, so this is the request that we have used. So if you are someone who are coming to my channel for the first time, there's a video on my channel. Let me show you how you can redirect to my channel or else you can uh, just refer to the link uh, in the description. I'll post over there where you can find the particular video for getting folders through the postman so this is the video i was talking about so just go and check out this video uh, and you would be able to have these ids of that particular folder from where you wanted to get the environment values of that particular associated with that particular folder so here i am going to create a particular request so let's see how we can do that so here, first of all, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get the um, environment in that particular folder. So let me go to my orchestrator. So this is my orchestrator. So uh, firstly, we will see how we can get the environment details uh, here. Let's go. This is my classic folder that I have. Here is my environment. So I have created an environment, which is classic environment. OK. So as soon as I do the API call, it should provide me this particular environment that's there on my orchestrator. So how we can do that? So this is my. <clears throat> Let's do step by step. So here, if you just come over here, we have an API endpoint URL, right? So I'm going to pick this up. So I'll, I'll just take till here because I will not give the name uh, in this filter. I will provide the ID of it, which I have fetched from the previous request. Okay, so here I should replace it with my orchestrator, which is till here. Okay, just take it till here. It should contain organization ID and also your tenant name. Okay, so once after that is done, go to your postman and replace it with that. Perfect, right? So this is my um, endpoint URL. So what request we are doing? We are getting the environment, right? So it should be a get request. Let's go to the postman. So uh, just we are using this particular, uh, you know, postman.uipathrox, this site uh, where we have all the documentation to do the API calls. So it's a get environment. And uh, once that is done, what else is requ required? Content type and also organization unit ID. So I'm going to copy this organization unit ID. So just copy and provide it in header. OK, and what goes here is the ID that we have fetched from the previous request, which is the ID that is corresponding to that particular folder. So I wanted to get it from the classic folder, right? So go to your uh, previous workflow and I mean the previous request. Let me. So this is my request where I am getting all the folder IDs. So what is my uh, folder name default, right? So from here, I'm going to fetch this particular ID. So in this ID, whatever the environments are there, I wanted to get those environment details. OK, and after that, what is the important thing? Authorization. OK, you have to get authorized. Otherwise, if you just run this, you will get 401 error, which is you are not authorized, right? So go to authorization. What is the authorization type we are using? Barrier token. So if you're not sure what is a barrier token, how we will get it, and how often we have to refresh the token to, uh, to get the new barrier token, you have to watch 
the first video uh, which is authentication so this video will give you clear understanding on it don't worry i'll post the links for both the videos along with the playlist in the description go check it out if you are jumping into this video for the first time i would suggest those are the prerequisites to know the basics and to you know get on to the next level so um we have given the barrier token so it is it has it has come here auto generated because i was using this barrier token throughout this uh, collection okay so just send if you see 200 that means it's a successful request and if you see what is the name of the uh, environment classic environment which i have just shown you that's there in my default folder right so this is a classic environment and I got ID as well. So uh, this ID and this classic environment, whatever is displayed here, I this will be, uh, you know, required for the next step. So what is the next step? We've got the environment uh, that we need to run the particular job in the classic folder. And the next is we should run what process we have to run, right? So for that, uh, we have some prerequisites which is, you know, uh, publishing the process into orchestrator and, you know, connecting that to that particular environment and associating that environment to a robot. So that all things we will see in the next video. So in this video, uh, we've got the environments which are associated with that particular folder. So going forward, we will see the next step, which is releasing releases, uh, whatever the releases are there in your particular orchestrator, we are going to access them. So do not miss any of those videos. Do subscribe to my channel. I will upload the videos on regular basis on orchestrator API calls using Postman and also using HTTP request parallelly. So thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please do hit the like button and also do let me know in the comments if you have any questions or any concerns regarding uh, your API calls that you are doing on your processes. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more interesting content.